let's put them down, lay them down, and we'll move up. Uh, Nick, Bean, and Dolly will grab them. But let's uh, put them on the ground, stomach, arms out. Bean and Nick, when we're moving up, I'll cover the uh, cap. There's a passenger, there's a passenger. Just keep your hands up, buddy. Just keep your hands up. Dolly Wall, watch the cab. I got the cab. Around me, go around back. Yep. I got the cab. Around me, go around back. Yep. Just keep your hands up. Don't move, bud, okay? I'm good. Do not move. I'm good. Drop a cigarette. Can you explain to me what's going on? Yes, sir. Is your name Mark? Yes, it is. He's detained. Mark is detained. Mark, do you have any weapons on you, sir? No, sir, I do not. Rolling my way? Gotta check you, okay, Mark? I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. Just roll them that way. Yeah. You gotta check that side? Yeah. Put my wallet in that pocket. Just the wallet. Alright. You're gonna turn towards me and sit on your thumb, alright? Alright. So go ahead and this. Are you Mark? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm the sergeant. Did you say you uh, you asked to speak with me? Well, I was asking a few questions. First of all, I'm trying to understand what exactly is going on. Okay. Um, before we get going here, I do got to let you know I am equipped with the body worn camera, it records both audio and video. Okay. Uh, have you been read your Miranda rights yet? No, I have not. Okay. Let me make sure I get those read to you so that uh, I, I'm trying to answer all the questions you have. Uh, but because you're in handcuffs and because you're in the back of a police car, I do want you to know what your uh, what your rights are too. Okay. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. And you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand each of those rights that I just read to you? Okay. Um, yeah, having those rights in mind, the reason why you're in handcuffs right now is, is because uh, we received a uh, call from an agency in Colorado. You know, is it Washington County or is it... Do you... County, maybe? Okay. Um, and what had happened is they had got information that you were potentially up here and they said that they had a... Uh, uh, a warrant for murder second for you. I'm sorry? I have no idea what that's about. Okay. It is in the system. And that's why, obviously, we tried to approach it as safely as we could because we don't want you to get hurt and we don't want us to get hurt. We all want to go home to our families and stuff like that. I so I appreciate, from the sergeant perspective, I appreciate your cooperation and that I was the one giving you the verbal warnings over the PA as we got going here. So a little difficult to get out of the truck line in that situation. Yeah, understood well, it's like, I had a, and I'm looking at you going, holy crap, this guy's got a semi pointed right at me, and I don't know you from Adam, and all, all they're telling me is that they got a murder warrant for no, you. I have no problem with you. Okay, so no, I, and I have no problem with what you did. I, I appreciate how cooperative you were with us, so. Yeah, I have no reason not to. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. Um, Colorado... It has confirmed that that warrant is, is good, okay, um, which means that we don't have a choice that you're going to have to go down to the Whatcom County Jail and get booked in until that gets sorted out. Well, and my, qu my question to the other officer was, sure. when was this issue? I do he not know the answer to that. He said something to me about bond jumping or something like that. I have no clue what this is about. Okay. Uh, I don't know when it was issued. I know it's an active warrant, uh, and that's how the call came into us is that they're saying that 
that this warrant's in the system and that they had information that you were uh, you were potentially in this area working on your, in your trucking job. So. My phone is in the truck. Okay. And obviously, I'd like to be able to make a phone call. Yeah, here's that's and it, and here's the thing. Um, I, I, I want to accommodate that if I can. Um, I got one of my officers right now making calls to Colorado, uh, and because of the nature and the investigation, I don't know if Colorado wants us to hold the truck for anything. Um, I don't know if it's related to the case. I don't know anything about anything. So what I have my my officer doing is calling and basically saying, "Hey, uh, we contacted Mark." Uh, he's fine. He's safe. He was in this big truck. Do you guys need this big truck as part of your investigation for any reason? If they say no, that the truck is good to be released, um, then I'm happy to, with your permission, go in there and grab that phone so you have well, that available no, to you. Obviously, being a truck driver, I don't go home every night. There's obviously. things in the truck that I'd like to keep in my possession or with me yeah. if possible. I'm not, I'm not just going to leave it here either. So if, if they say, if they say that... Um, they don't want it held. Um, we'll work on getting property or, or what. Um, I think that the, the uh, company itself was going to try and work on getting a secondary driver uh, to the scene here. Yeah, if the fun. if the agency says yes, that we have reason to, uh, that we want to search that truck or whatever, um, then it's going to have to go for a search warrant, and that's again not you know that's beyond my control based on the nature of, of yeah, I can't the control. Colorado it's investigation. Out of my control. I am so. Okay. Does that help answer that question at all? Well, I mean, my concern right now is the ability to communicate with people and let them know what's going on. Like an attorney or anything well, like that? My attorney for one and my girlfriend for another. Okay. You I'll will get you will get those the opportunities to make those calls once you get down to the jail, and I'll try and get that rolling as soon as we can. Okay, well, now we're just putting together the, you know, once we get everything safe, now we're working on just getting the fine points of, well, of all the what we need to be doing on our end, and then we'll get you... Uh, We'll get you where you need to go, well, so you can start working on that. There's things in the truck that I'd like to keep in my possession or keep with me. I mean, I've got my checkbook and, you know, like, things like that. a small amount of items? Okay, be yeah. thinking about, be formulating the list. I mean, I could get what I want out of the truck I need. Yeah. I mean, i got a refrigerator, just, but I'm not worried well, about Well, just be thinking about the things that you absolutely need, and if they say they don't need it, I'm happy to, you know, put together a small bag of stuff that you, you can need. You can go down and get booked into the jail with you so it's available to you when uh, when you get released or when you get moved or what. So, so um, any idea how long we might expect that process to take? The question I have for you is Colorado said that um, they gave us a flag and that, the reason why, also why we were trying to keep it so safe is that potentially there's a handgun in the truck? There's no, no you, the truck. Okay, there, okay. I noticed I the, no the bullet uh, casing oh, yeah. head band here is that's just a decoration yeah, no other weapons no firearms in the truck at all personnel. you're former military i'm not well, oh. was a, okay was for me oh was it okay. okay but no firearms There's in the no truck firearms. okay all right so let me work on uh, shoring up those little loose ends of the investigation now and i'll i'll come back and i'll let you know what what, what i find out all right, all right man thanks yeah are you ricardo yes sir okay and, and that's Mark with you? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mark's got a murder warrant out of Colorado. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, and so we got information that he was here and that he was potentially armed with a handgun, which is why we brought you out so carefully that we did. Okay. We were, understand that, that you were th with him, you're a student driver with yes. him? Okay. Um, and so we didn't want you to be put in a position of being, you know, a hostage or anything. We don't know this dude. We don't know what his story is. All we have is an agency in Colorado saying he's wanted for murder, okay, and is potentially armed with a handgun, okay. So I hope you understand why we, we approach the stop safely and stuff like that. And um, you know, I, I don't need a seat or a need to keep you in handcuffs any longer than necessary, okay. Um, you don't. Hey, have you seen a handgun in the truck? Or? No, I haven't. Okay. As long as I can pat you down, and make sure you don't have a handgun. I'll get you out of those cuffs, and we'll try and figure out what what the next step is yeah. about what we need to do. Now, he's a okay. good dude, you know. I know that something that something happened with his son, you know. So yeah, and I don't know the whole story. I you know I saw a little bit on Google or whatever, um, and it sounded like a kind of a long and involved thing. But that kind of has come full circle, and and Colorado saying, you know, we want to we want to talk to this dude because uh -huh. we think we think he might have killed his kid. So, all right. That's crazy because you know he's gonna go look for him. You know, after, uh, when he gets some time off. Okay. Has he mentioned anything about the troubles in Colorado or anything to you as you guys were driving and passing 
passing miles and time? Uh, he's, you know, he's talking about, you know, they're going to go do a search party for, you know. For him? For, for, or for his, son. The, his son? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So, you know, I know, you know, he didn't do nothing like that. Okay. All right. So let me uh, just pat you down real quick. Make sure you don't have any weapons. I'll get you out of those handcuffs. I will ask that you kind of hang out while we